Alright, here we go. Disc 3. Flashback! Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Tonight. He means business. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. Jesus. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Alcacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. Oh, no fear when he's dead. Actually. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corbin. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the whore's breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! War. War never changes. Yeah, but that kind of sucks. But it's a hard decision to make. The setup. American Legion Stadium, eh? The boxing. We can see a boxing match? I would like to see a boxing match. Or did the boxer die? You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Fix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. I do get to see a boxing match. Let's get a ringside seat. Jeez. Taking too many blows, man. Yeah. I saw that coming. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. What happened? God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back! LAPD! What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. Hey, it's got a gold doorknob. Why don't we just open it? He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money, or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. There's the glove. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Not sure this means much. 
It's a glove. It means everything. Another newspaper with Fontaine. When are we going to meet that guy? You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never leave this room. Of course it will, though. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something. And it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. Oh, here we go. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties. And your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. He's got a silver tongue. He's like, God, he's good. He's just gonna take all the money or something, or the morphine, and make, a, make money off of that. Seven out of thirteen papers, eh? And what is this, so an address? No. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Well, it's a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Tape. For the hands. I have a number we can call. Oh. Another glove. Circumstance. Why did you cut off what he said? There? Okay. Oh, punching bag. Punching bag. Oh, the window. Thanks. Oh, what's this? Wait. Oh, it's just a drain. I thought it was one of them film reels. I was like, what? You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. Oh. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. Mickey. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, 
met his brother-in-law. Damn, son. Smooth. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Jump through the window. Whatever. No, no. No. I'm going and using this phone. Oh, for Christ's sake, man. Where is the f Oh, my God. Can I please use the phone? Oh, God, it's right there. Oh, my God. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar. 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. <sighs> it's kind of like... You know the place? Oh, come on. Alright, so... It's that same voice with the dispatch and the operator. Is it just the same lady moving a chair and going to the next phone? I mean, come on. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I know a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gang. Christ! Calm your nuts. Do I know a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he's... Open your eyes! Shut up. Here. Hotel Elma. Cheap rates. Extra Cheap rates and hot water. Man, I wish I had some hot water. Where could I go? Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies? Talk is cheap. Try hiring a lawyer. Oh, turn the page. <laughs> Winston <laughs> Churchill? <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, Gene Harlow, Clark Gable, Bob Hope. <laughs> Are you liquored up? Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. Burt Lancaster. Uh, Vincent Price. Bing Crosby. Cary Grant. What am I looking for? Here's what I heard. That cop caught the guy that did the Dahlia. But they covered it up. Some kind of big conspiracy. Oh, I don't know. Can I go back another page? I can. No. No. I really don't understand what I'm looking for. Let me just... No. AL345. That, does that mean something? 345. Right? AL... 345. Let me look for 345. 
445. Where is... Uh, three... Forty-five. I'm just gonna tap everything. Literally, what am I looking for? Four twenty-two. Winston Churchill, a very patriotic Englishman, is staying in room two hundred seven. Why was that what I was? Little bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Don't understand why that would be it. But, uh, sure. Um, yeah, the one with the gold doorknob. Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for it. Oh. This one. All right. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. No, no, no. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards. The lady who filled out this coupon. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his oh, hands yeah. between bouts. Adrian Black. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Alright. Oh, what do we have here? He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Oh, mouth guard. Probably nothing. It, it's a mouth guard. Which is probably nothing. Time to go find Candy Edwards. I saved the whole year for that car. Extra, read all about it. Candy Edwards. Here we go. Driving again. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Phelps! You called. We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. This car cost me a fortune, you moron! So this is your car. I don't care. Oh yeah, this is definitely her address. I'm sure she lives in a motel. Maybe. Maybe. We need to know which room is Candy's. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. Well, you take the apartments. outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Give it up, bitch. Sounds like we're He's missing all the fuck. <gasps> oh. Like hitting women, do you? This isn't going to end well for you, friend. Oh, I win, and I didn't lose my hat. Nothing. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Ooh. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun.
right time to check out uh this. Oh. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Guess not. And postcard. Escania sails from New York. Yeah, lots of stuff here. What is this? Perfume. Not much help. Oh, sorry. Sunglasses case. Or seems irrelevant. Not sunglasses. Lipstick. <gasps> Black Dahlia. Junk. Oh, it's not. It's uh. Man, I don't even. I'm. I'm not even gonna say anything because I'll just get it wrong because I'm bad with. With uh. Makeup and such. I know nothing. I know as much about makeup as I do about football. All right. Oh, your other side. George Ray. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Okay, mm -hmm. where's Hammond? We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Uh... Lie? You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. It's nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Oh, save it for the suckers, Candy. Albert won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. I'm done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. Okay. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? I'm just gonna do doubt. Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you She's slide. She's looking down to the left. What? Uh, I charges against a... me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings for him as well? You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Doubt. Why? You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off of the mouth? Prove I know where he is. Oh, I can't. Looks like I made a mistake. Doubt. Yeah. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. One out of three is, well, get uh... out of your way, Candy. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Handle it by leaving. 
Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Okay. If I can do this without her being... S without me being seen. Just like last time. I can do this. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. No one behind you. <laughs> I had it, god damn you. Yes. Let's watch the let's read the newspaper. Yes, I know how tailing works. Thank you, game. turn again just do it you can't fool me much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. <laughs> 